You're gonna make this one a fast one, right, kitten? Hopefully. Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In my last video, I showed you guys how to do a really cool lower thirds within LumaFusion. And if you watched to the very end of that video, not a lot of you did because it was like 18 minutes long. So really, I can't blame you. But if you did, you found out that I left a link for that lower thirds all the way at the bottom of the description box. This way you could download it directly from my Google Drive. So for those of you that did make it, you had some questions about editing the text and swapping out the pictures. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how to download that from Google Drive because somebody was confused about that. And also how to swap out the text and the picture because you don't want my picture popping up on your channel, I hope. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into the overhead camera. I'm going to show you how to swap that out. And this is my last video, Stylish Lower Thirds in LumaFusion. So if you hit the description box and go all the way past all of my affiliate links, at the very bottom, you're going to see a link to Google Drive. Go ahead and tap that, and that is going to open the link for this box, the Lower Thirds box. Your next step is to go to these three dots, hit that, and what you want to do is hit Open In. And just as usual, you're going to scroll down until you see Copy to LumaFusion. Now, once you hit that, it's going to automatically pop open LumaFusion and pop open this project. I included two sets of this lower thirds. One is larger than the other. This is actually the one that I did in the tutorial. So let's go ahead and talk about how you can change this to personalize it and make it your own. Of course, the edit text is the easiest thing. You would just double tap on the text, that's the name, and instead of saying Tammy Sipniewski, you would obviously put your name, and then the text right above that is going to be YouTube Creator. If you want to put something else, you would just double tap on that and just change that as well. And when I say change that, all you have to do is hit the text and hit the pencil and paper, and that is going to allow you to type in whatever you want to type in. Now the most confusing one was the picture. So let me go ahead and swap out a picture here. I don't know if I have any photos of myself beside that photo. And that photo was actually taken with an iPad. So here's from the photo shoot. Okay, we'll use, um, I guess, this photo, right? We'll go ahead and just drop that right down there. And what I'm going to do is stretch this out to about uh, 9 seconds. If it's a little longer, we'll go ahead and crop it out. So what we're going to do from here is highlight my picture. We're going to go down to the bottom toolbar and hit the clipboard and we're going to choose copy. Now we're going to highlight the new picture, go back to the bottom toolbar, the clipboard, and now we're going to hit paste. So what we're going to do now is just go back to my picture and throw it away in the garbage can and we're going to mosey this picture right on over to where the old one was. But you can see it's not exactly perfect and we need it to be perfect. So let's go ahead, double tap that and we are going to do just a little bit of editing. So the first thing that I want to do, you know, maybe this wasn't the best picture. Oh, we'll go to cropping and let's see what we're working with here because we want to make it a square. So let's see, definitely going to bring up the top and let's bring out the left a little bit and pull out the right. And that's as far as that one's going to go. And that looks to me a circle. So let's go ahead and go back to size and position. Now what we want to do is use the Y slider. You don't want to do it by hand because you don't want to mess up anything else. You just want to bring this down a little bit until it lines up perfectly in the center of that gray box. Okay, that looks good right there. And I can see on the Y axis, I'm at an 8402. So what we have to do is all of these dots have to be changed from the old size to 8402. So we'll back arrow to the last dot. So we're just going to move this to 8402. That's good. Back arrow again, move that to 8402. Back arrow again. 8402, back arrow again, and make every single dot 8402. So let's have a look, perfect, perfect. So what we have to do now is just do that exact same thing to the end. So we will hit the rightmost arrow 
and that is going to bring us all the way to the end. So same thing here. For some reason, I don't know why it's not starting to slide off. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is drop a keyframe here, hit the next arrow over. If you're, if the picture is not sliding out, and once again, this could, oh crap, it, this could just be an error with LumaFusion because sometimes it does freeze up. So you just want to move the picture out. You just want to keyframe that picture out of the way. So let's go ahead and boom, usually two, and that's done. Oh, nope, another one. Keep moving it. There again. I don't understand why. It could just be that LumaFusion had a glitch. So let's go ahead and just look at it. Okay, perfect. What we're going to do to make sure that we're keeping this organized now, go ahead and hit the leftmost arrow, and that is going to bring you to the very end of this. So what we want to do while the picture is highlighted, hit the scissor, and that's going to trim off any excess picture that there is. That way everything is nice and even and makes it very easy to move. So let me show you what I mean. How about this one? We'll go ahead and drag this video in. Bear in mind that this is not uh, color corrected or anything. This is the video. This is a B-cam shot from last night. So go ahead, drop a video into your timeline, whatever videos that you're working on. Now you can start bringing this over. So just start piling this on top of everything one at a time. Keep it nice and organized. You know, when you have everything nice and plainly cut down a straight line, it's very, very easy to keep that together and organized. If it's cut in all kind of different ways, it's very hard to drop things into position. So now you can see how the lower thirds came out there. And let's say that you're not happy with that box. Let's say that you want it a little darker or even less dark. So go ahead and double tap on the shape. Go to Shape. And you can either bring down the opacity or you can dial up that opacity, making it a solid box. It's, it's totally up to you. And you can even change the color. You don't have to leave that a black box. You can make it a red box if you want. Or you can make it a blue box. Whatever color suits your desire, go ahead and it's, it's up to you. Now bear in mind, you don't have to use this as a lower thirds. You can use it as an animated title or just some animated text. This doesn't have to say your name and YouTube creator. That doesn't have to be your picture. It can be anything. That was like the fastest video I think I've ever done. Nothing short of a miracle to get a video out of me in just under a couple minutes. Awesome. My next few videos, I'm going to walk you guys through how I keep everything organized in my project manager as far as my assets go. This way it makes it just faster to do a video and they wind up looking so much more well produced. So that's going to be next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, wear your mask and your sunblock.